So T5 is coming. That we already know. But there is also some other information that I did see before. I just don't remember exactly where or when. But they did have this up before. And I know T5 is going to take most of the conversation and all of that. Because it's, it's, it's going to be a huge update. But here's what they're saying now. Breaking news from Lords Mobile. And this was uh, put out today. Dear Lords and Ladies. Lords Mobile is turning 4. And we've got a massive update incoming. <laughs> you don't say. Loads of anniversary events will be available after the update with tons of free gifts as an appreciation for all your support thus far. I really hope that these are like really good events, but there will also be a research rush event where time and resources required for some research will be discounted by 30%. Now, that's really important. The thing is, what exactly is going to be discounted? Because if you have the tree for like wall research being discounted, who cares, right? Now, most of the other trees are at least decent for something or the other. But like if, if it's like wall defense, then we don't really care. But the other trees, I could see this being really, really good. Because remember, not everybody's at the same level. So even though you might have finished the original military tree already, and maybe that's one of the things that are getting a 30% discount, maybe someone else has it. Maybe somebody newer to the game, they haven't done that. So that's, that's all fine and good, but it depends on the length. Because if it's only for a couple of days, like what if you don't have the speed ups? What if you don't have the, the resources? I hope that that's for like maybe a, like at least a week, right? Like at least a guild fest uh, amount of time because research usually is not very easy to finish, especially if you're going to wait for all the helps, if you're going to get try to get all the resources, the speed ups and all of that. So hopefully that's at least a week for that event. But here's here's the kicker, right? That is not all. Our team has been busy working on updates to improve your gaming experience. Major updates are on the way, including client server upgrades. Now, I don't really know exactly what that means because that's very like generic client server upgrades. But does that mean that during the big wars, you're not going to have the crazy lag? Does this mean that during the big wars, you're not going to have troops that just stand still and walking into your castle if you haven't reset it by going in and out of your castle y'all know what i'm talking about right y'all not y'all know what i'm talking about especially if you've been in things like baron or wonder wonder wars etc after a while if you haven't gone back into your castle you'll just see a bunch of troops just walking in place on top of another castle like hello you're not gonna go in the castle so maybe Maybe that's the cut, the type of upgrades that we're going to get when they're talking about client server upgrades. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Here's the next big thing, though. Hero model upgrades. Graphics upgrades and more. Now, it does give us a little sneak peek here, which is cool. But first of all, I don't really see this as being that much different. Like the heroes look pretty much exactly the same. And all it does is that it changes the background of where they're at. Like that's that's really all I'm seeing that's different. Unless they're not showing everything that's going to be upgraded. And it also, it's, it not only says hero model upgrades, but it says graphics upgrades just in general. Now, most of you might not have been playing back when... Uh, Lords Mobile first originally launched, but Lords Mobile did not look like it looks now. When it first launched, listen, it looked like a completely different game. As a matter of fact, if I find a picture, I'm going to post it somewhere here so you can just see how much it changed because they have done a graphics up upgrade before and it was a major one. Like it changed a lot. And if it's going to be on par with that, then I am here for it. I don't really know about hero model upgrades because they kind of look the same. As a matter of fact, this actually makes it look a little like the other game that they launched not too long ago. Oh, I forgot the name already. 
Um, but yeah, I, I played it for a bit and it was literally like Lords Mobile. It was it was pretty much the same game with a couple of different changes. But I remember looking at their heroes and it looking oddly similar to this. At least where you look at the heroes and all of that. So I don't know if they're taking it from that, but as far as the actual models, I mean it it looks the same. I don't I don't know. But uh, if the actual graphics upgrade is going to change how your inside of the castle looks, the outside, maybe the world, things like that, then I'm all for that. Like the resources, maybe they're going to be more defined. I don't know. I can only speculate at this point, but I'm really, really hoping that it's not just this. Because if you, if you think about it, it's, it's just the background. It's just the background and maybe how they stand. Maybe some, some new animations, but that's about it. They look the same. Because if you actually go out, if you go out, and you just... That's not that's not what I'm looking for. Hello. Here we go. So if you if you just take a look at them here, right? Uh, what's one of the heroes that was in there? Night Raven, right? Like, it, it shows you Night Raven next to the trophies, and then you can kind of do one of these. So maybe they're just going to have a completely different layout. But the hero doesn't really look that much different so i don't really know exactly what they're going for but i feel like this graphics upgrade is going to be really really nice and of course t5 is going to dominate the conversation i mean it's just it obviously but this is kind of uh not being talked about now oh oh they do say something at the end hold on let me see Finally, we'd like to thank all our lords and ladies for your years of support. We couldn't have gotten this far without all of you. Our, our team will continue to update the game and bring you a bigger and better gaming experience with each update. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm guessing that this is only going to start uh, a chain of events. Meaning, eventually, we're going to get Mythic Jewels. We're going to get Mythic Heroes. Yeah. I mean, it, it's laid out. Once Mythic came out for gear, it kind of, like, paved the way. Like, oh, so gold isn't the last level of things? Oh. And also, Tashi made a great point, which um, we've been saying before. But we, we, we kind of just said it, like, for fun. You know, like, we didn't really mean it. But uh, how can I how can I check this? Hold on. Now. Oh, in the barracks, right? Nope. Or actually, let me go outside. This is gonna be a little better to demonstrate to demonstrate it. So when you go and nope. Okay, let me return one of my damn armies so I can show you this without interruption. Thank you. Okay, let's start again. When you go to attack, T4 is purple. T3 is blue. T2 is green. You, you get the picture, right? So now that T5 is coming, we all know that it's more than likely going to be a gold background color, right? So that means we still have Mythic to go. We still have T6 to go. And like I said, like, we, we, we've kind of poked fun at it before, but now it's like, oh, God. Oh, and that's my RuneScape thing. Uh, yeah. Um... So yeah, don't don't be don't fret too much about T5. T6 is <laughs> T6 is coming. Uh, also, if you're wondering about what the hell happened to my ranged, <laughs> um, so we just had a very long wonder battle. I I think I recorded 17 hours of it, and about seven of those hours, I literally just left it focused on the base, went to sleep, and came back, and it was still going. So yeah, I have 17 hours to edit and post up and I, I'm not gonna make that one video because that like 17 hours into one video I'll probably be a two-parter to be honest with you. Maybe I'll, I'll cut it up into the battle for the forts and then the battle for the base because the battle for the forts was a little bit quicker than the battle for the base. So yeah, yeah, I think I I think I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, this update is shaping up to be a very big update probably the biggest we'll see all year considering and um i just i just don't know if the graphics update is actually coming along with the t5 because the graphics update didn't come out with the t5 in the taiwan server so 
Maybe they're gonna be released at separate times. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, I'm kind of looking forward to this. For better or for worse. But yeah, appreciate you guys for watching, and until later, bye.